Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the different ways that you can replace the bypass NRO workaround to bypass the internet connection requirements to set up Windows 11 with a local account instead of a Microsoft account. As you probably already know, Microsoft is making it harder for users to set up Windows 11 with a local account. In the past, you were able to use the bypass NRO command during initial setup to bypass the requirements. But in future updates, the company has already confirmed that it's removing the script that permitted this loophole. Although there are many ways to escape the Microsoft account during the out-of-box experience, like using a USB flash drive created with third-party tools such as Rufus and Bentoy, or using an answer file, and even using the domain join option, but this is only for Windows 11 Pro. If you're stuck in the initial setup, you still have at least three ways to bypass the requirements, and this is what we're going to look today in this video. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything, and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Now, for the first method, we're going to keep using the bypass NRO, but this time we're going to have to modify the registry. And to do this, while you are in the autobox experience, just use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut to open command prompt. And then you need to type this specific command to add a registry key to the system. Once you type the command, just press enter. And then we're going to use the shutdown command to restart the computer and continue the initial setup with a local account. Now, after the computer reboots, you also want to use the shift F10 command one more time. And then we're going to use the IP config release command to make sure that the computer is not connected to the network. You can also unplug the network cable or just turn off the Wi-Fi adapter if you have that key on the keyboard. Actually, I need to type this correctly. Now we can close this and then we can continue with the out of box experience. And then at the bottom of the page, just click the I don't have internet option and continue with the local account. I'm not going to set up password, you can leave it blank. However, if you choose to use a password, which is recommended, you will have to go through the setup for the security questions. Now we just configure the privacy settings, click accept, and that is all there is to it. Now we're going to use another method, which is similar, but we're not going to edit the registry. And we're actually going to launch a legacy user account manager to create a local account and basically just go straight to the desktop after we configure the privacy settings. And to do this, when you are on the out of box experience, just use the shift plus F10 keyboard shortcut to open command prompt. And then we're going to type this command. and then press enter. And here, just type the local account name. If you configure the password, which is recommended, you will have to scroll down and configure the security questions. Just to speed up the process, I'm going to leave the password blank. And then we're going to click next. And now we're finally going to configure the privacy settings. As you can see, this experience is a little bit different. So for example, find my device and diagnostic data are disabled by default. And then we just click accept and that's it. Now for the last method, we're going to be using the developer console and this is how it goes. Now, instead of using the shift F10 keyboard shortcut, we are going to be using the control GIF J keyboard shortcut. When you do that, we're going to enter into this console, which is called the developer console. And in here, make sure to type everything as you see on the screen, because this command is case sensitive. So it's going to be win js that application that restart. And then we're going to open parentheses and then we're going to use quotation marks. And inside, we're going to type ms cxh 
Then we're going to use semicolon, two slashes, and then we're going to type local only. And then we're going to press enter. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we already have a different experience to create a local account. Now, you should be able to exit the console using the escape button a few times. And if it doesn't come off, just click anywhere on the screen until the console disappears. And in here, we can create the local account. So in here, I'm going to skip the password, but remember that it's recommended to use a password and then you will have to configure the security questions as well. Then we just click next. And after the splash, we're going to have to go through the privacy settings and then we're gonna go straight to the desktop. After you choose your privacy settings, just click accept and then we're just gonna go to the desktop. So I was about to wrap up this tutorial when I came across another method. This is actually a method that Microsoft itself recommends for network administrators using Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise, but it also works with the home edition of the operating system. So similar to the other methods, what we have to do is when you are in the out of box experience, you will just use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut to bring up the command prompt. And then we're going to modify the registry and we're going to add this particular key. Once you completed typing the command, just press enter to add it to the system. As you can see, the operation completed successfully. And now we can simply close command prompt and we don't have to actually restart the computer. You can continue with the network connection. So right here, we're just going to choose the region and then we're going to click yes. We're going to click yes again to confirm the keyboard layout. We're going to skip this. And actually, we're going to get the screen to create a local account after the system downloads the updates. There you go. Now we're going to create an account. Click next. I'm not going to use a password again to speed up the process. However, it is recommended to use a password. And when you use this option, you will have to configure the security questions. Finally, we just need to configure the privacy settings and then we should go straight to the desktop. So this is another option that you can use if you want to be connected to the internet, but you don't want to set up a Microsoft account on Windows 11. And that's it. Those are three different ways that you can use to replace the bypass NRO command that you used to use to bypass the requirements to create a local account on your computer. Now, let me know in the comments the method that worked for you. And remember to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.